Ahoy there. Oh yeah, this camera angle is fucking perfect. Great, I can hide how ugly I am. Okay, let's run. All right, new day, new camera angle. New facial hair. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Sad Boy Storytime. This is going to be the most recent story that I have ever talked about because this happened about two days ago. Two days ago, my girlfriend decided to lose her wallet. Well, okay, she didn't decide to lose her wallet. She just lost her wallet. Are these still funny? Are, are these still funny? No, no, they're not. Okay. All right, so anyway, this happened the other day. My girlfriend calls me when she's on her way to work. It's about 12.30 in the afternoon. I'm a vampire! 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 She calls me in a panic, just going, hey, I lost my wallet. Can you look around your room to find it? And today, conveniently, was the day I was going to be cleaning my room anyway, so I was like, yeah, sure, I'll take a look for it. You know, if I find it, I'll let you know. It's the right thing to do. It's not like I would keep my own girlfriend's wallet. Having a wallet is very important because that's where you keep literally everything. At least if, it, if you're me, that's where you keep literally everything. God, if I lost my wallet, I'd be fucked. I go around looking for stuff. I basically tear everything apart before putting it back together. Everything except my bed, mind you, which probably not the best idea. So I tear everything apart. I say, hey, I can't find it, I'm sorry. She says, okay, that's that's fine, we'll look for my house, we'll look through my car. Your house is the only place I can imagine it being because we went three places the other day. We went to her house, we went to the movies, and then we went back to my house. So what happened is, I get to her place, it's not in her room because she usually does the same thing I do where she keeps it in the same place every single fucking day. We get to her place, we can't find it, and I'm like, okay, have you called the movies? She's like, okay, I've tried calling the movies multiple times. Side note, if you haven't seen The Shape of Water yet, go see it. It's tight. I mean, sure, Guillermo del Toro basically recycles the same creature in every single movie anyway, but, you know, movie's still tight. Real tight. I won't spoil anything for you. There's fish fucking. Cause I know that I'm a gay fish. I'm just like, I get to her house, we we search everything, I'm like, okay, let's go to the movies, let's try to find it. We were just like, okay, let's just meet up, let's go try to find this thing. We go to the movies, search the theater we were in. We didn't tell them we'd lost it the night before, however, which is not the smartest move. They'd probably just be like, are you fucking stupid? You were here yesterday and you didn't figure out you lost your wallet until today? Are you, are you daft? Do you understand how the brain works? You know. Basic stuff like that. We get there, we search the two seats we were sitting in, which were way in the back, because that's the only way to watch movies. Shocker, wasn't there. So at this point, she's freaking out, just going, oh man, I'm scared. Yeah, I'm sure it's gotta be at your house or somebody stole it. And I'm like, I'm sure nobody stole it. Because banks, as shitty as they are, are usually pretty good about warning you when something goes bad. So what happens is we get back to my house. I didn't make my bed. I rarely ever make my bed unless I'm shooting a video. Case in point, do you see how nicely this is made right now? So we get back to my place, she lifts up one like comforter and bada bing, bada boom, there's her wallet. She just starts looking at me and just starts laughing her ass off and in the meantime I'm standing there just like, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Should have blamed it on the demon that I summoned from this thing. Really should have. We go back to her place after finding the wallet. Well, actually, we go to Denny's after finding her wallet. I mean, you can get coffee and breakfast 24 hours a day. What's what's wrong with you? Go to Denny's. Then we get back into my car after going to Denny's. She's looking around and just all the happiness just drops from her face from finding her wallet. And she's like, don't be mad. I think I forgot my keys at your house. This is after we're celebrating by going to Denny's and after I feel completely stupid about not being able to find her wallet, which was in my bed. I slept with her wallet. She, her wallet was in my bed, right here, right, right fucking here, and I didn't feel it. I slept with it, all the pillows were over there. I didn't notice that it was there. We drive back to my place, again, This we've been driving back and forth uh, from her place to my place for about hour and a half now. I get there, she, I have an appointment with my doctor at 9.30 in the morning, and I'm just like, listen, I have a doctor's appointment at 9.30 in the morning, we can just crash here, I'll take you back to your house tomorrow after we find your keys and everything, and everything will be fine, everything will be all set. She had work at noon, so there wasn't really that much of a rush. Side note.
Parking lots at hospitals. If you're gonna have a parking lot, make it so you can support the amount of volume of people and cars that are going into the parking lot. Side note of that side note. If you drive a Nissan and you're trying to park your fucking car in a compact spot when you're not a compact car, kill yourself. Fuck drivers who drive Nissan. Back on topic. Why did I do that? Her keys are just sitting right there. I look at her, I'm like, well, found your keys. It, it went from her being upset because she couldn't find her wallet, finding her wallet, me being upset because I was too stupid to find her wallet in the fucking first place, to her being upset again because she forgot her keys at my house. We had driven back and forth from her place to mine about three or four times at this point, and I had driven back and forth from that town about four to five times that day because I had to drop her off early in the morning and where I work is only about five minutes away from her house and I had work. Yeah, this hand movement's really annoying. I'm sorry. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Have a good one and I hope your days are cold. Yeah.